This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Subaru is no longer satisfied with just being different with its all-wheel drive vehicles. Now that the segment is pretty crowded, the brand is also stepping up to offer competitive technological features. That's apparent in the 2010 version of the Legacy sedan. It replaces this vehicle, which straddled a spot between performance handling and near luxury. The roofline on the new platform is 3 inches taller and the car is 3 inches wider than the last version, which provides improved interior space. The wider stance also improves the ride on both rough and smooth surfaces. Once inside, drivers and passengers find an upscale looking interior, including a brushed metal finish in the top of the line limited version. The car also comes with a new electronic braking package as standard equipment. Sid, isn't that kind of an upscale feature for this vehicle? No, it's really not. We don't, we don't think it, it helped us in packaging. It's really not really a weight saving issue, it's more of a packaging issue. It improved our center console and uh, made it a lot more usable. People are concentrating what they want, a better interior, they want more, more cubby space, and they want a place to carry their phone and food, and they want cup holders. So this was a, a way to increase that center console area without adding to the transmission tunnel. Subaru also worked on the performance side with three different engine options. Tell the people what the choices are, Bosker. The base is a 2.5 liter four cylinder, delivering 170 horsepower and 170 foot pounds of torque. A charged version of the same engine cranks out 265 horsepower and 258 foot pounds of torque. And a new 3.6 liter V6 offers 256 horsepower and 247 foot pounds of torque. Thanks, Bosker. Subaru was lucky enough to grow their brand in 2008 and 2009. The question remains will their winning streak extend to the reworked legacy? This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.